All right, that's that's a that's a big man right there. I hope he's not a broadcaster because he comes from Syracuse. Everybody from Syracuse is a broadcaster. Matthew Bergeron is an offensive lineman, as you can see. He's a he's a big man. You're not you're not in broadcasting, right? No, I'm not. I'm I'm not. I'm in okay, social work. Okay, because you'll take my job. <laughs> Everybody from Syracuse wants to take my job. He's going to have a job in the NFL blocking folks. Um, really liked watching your work. You dig those one-on-ones going against the best defensive linemen. Why is that your deal? Uh, you know, for me in Syracuse, you know, we did that a lot, you know, those one-on-one reps. And I feel like, you know, we had a great talent in Syracuse. You know, uh, Michael Jones, middle linebacker, gave me the work, you know, for the past few years. You know, great defensive line in Syracuse also. So they got me ready for that moment. And, you know, working with Joe Staley, working with Coach Paul Alexander throughout, you know, my, my combine training, it definitely helped me, you know, for, the, for this moment. What's your background, 30 seconds or less, on how you got to Syracuse in your development? So I, you know, came, went down to Syracuse for a camp, you know, got an offer. It was my only offer out of high school. I'm from Montreal, Quebec in Canada. And, you know, got to Syracuse, started as a true freshman, and, you know, never got off the field since, played my four years, and, man, I'm grateful for my time at Syracuse. All right, Montreal, how did you get to play in American football? Basically, I played Canadian football my whole life through high school, and then my senior year in high school, I went down for a camp at Syracuse, you know, recruiting camp, and that's where they saw me, and they fell in love with me, and I fell in love with the program, Coach Babers, and they gave me my offer. You know, it's really interesting mm -hmm. because a lot of linemen, offensive mm -hmm. and defensive, come out of the Canadian game and do well in the American game. Why do you think that is? I feel like there's less differences between the Canadian football, American football, for the offensive line. Okay. Because it's the same blocking. You know, you're going to block the same guy, the same type of guys, and your, your, your footwork is going to be the same. The pass set is going to be the same regardless. I feel like there's a bigger di difference for, like, the skill guys, the quarterbacks which there's an extra player out there. They, the field is bigger, the field is wider, so you gotta get used to that. But for offensive linemen, blocking is blocking, you know what I mean? Right, mm -hmm. gotta be able to move your feet. No doubt. Where would you like to play, if, so, if a team gave you a choice, which we know they won't, yeah. <laughs> but if, you, if they said, hey, uh -huh. Matthew, this is the position, you can play anywhere, where would you like to play? I love to play left tackle. You know, I played left tackle my whole life, played left tackle for most of my years at Syracuse, and I feel real comfortable there, and you know, I feel like, you know, I excel at that position. By the same time, you know, if a team pays me to, you know, get to their team and, you know, play in the NFL, I'll play any position. You know, center, guard, whatever, I'll play it. One draft expert said Matthew Bergeron would make the biggest jump of any player at the Senior Bowl in terms of rankings. From what I've seen, I believe it. Keep up the good work, big man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Thanks Matthew for having Bergeron. Me.